Hello everyone and welcome back to part 50 of Build HMS Victory. In the last couple of videos I've been working on the quarter deck and I've actually been started to work from some of the magazines again so I've just been flicking through and this time I found the unseen issue issue 76 in the instructions it was parts of the gallery support but obviously I've covered that I did that weeks ago but I can remember that obviously there's different parts different sections in and then right at the back of the issue 76 is the, the little plans in the instructions to uh, fit the uh, inner bulwark mouldings. So it just made you obviously have to use a little template. So what I decided to do is I, is I cut the template out. And I just transferred I just transferred the template onto three pieces of wood that I'd glued together and I made myself a little jig just to uh, just to work these little mouldings in. So after I'd glued the three planks together, I just formed the curve that you're following from the uh, template. And then I just removed some more extra parts of wood just so I could make it a little bit easier I could clamp. Obviously the wood is going to be moulded. So I've just been soaking two pieces of wood that we're obviously going to need to make up the bulwarks, mouldings. These are just two strips of 1.5 by 1.5 and that's left me for about 10-15 minutes. So after clamping the template in the wood into the vise, I'm just starting to manipulate the wood around this curve. Just not too much pressure. I'm not trying to do it all in once. Just slowly twisting and bending the wood. Left the wood to dry for about half an hour and we get a little bit of spring back nothing that we can't just reform the shape again and now i'm just going to put the wood back onto the jig and cut it to length i need Because we had to soak the wood, after it dries, sometimes little little wood follicles stick up. So I'm just going over with 400 grey sandpaper and just smoothing it back out.
Now I'm just taking the jig that we use to form the mouldings and I'm laying it onto the bulwarks of the quarter deck just so I can trace a little pencil line. It's actually been modified the template just to suit where the position of the bulwarks moulding is going to go. So now it's time just to glue the moulding in place. I'm just tracing it along the pencil line I've traced. In the instructions it tells you to glue it into one piece. And I was a little bit apprehensive about that. And it turned out that obviously my fears were right a little bit later on in the video. So now we're moving on to the second moulding. And this moulding sits slightly in front of the curved section of the first moulding. And I'm going to make this exactly the same way, just using 1.5 by 1.5 timber and just forming a curve. I'm going to lay the second moulding onto the template and actually slightly over, over made the curve. It was quite easy just to manipulate it back. I'm just going to apply a first coat of paint and normally with my first coats I normally thin the paint down and run around a ratio around about 50-50 with paint and water. So this is a section I was talking about earlier in the video where when I was fitting it I was kind of thinking I'm going to give myself problems a little bit later on and I just, I mean it would have been a lot easier just to fit the section in between the window cut out rather than trying to cut <laughs> the section out after but as you can see it breaks. So as you can see I decided to just re-glue them back in position but this time just cut them to length first I'm just fitting them to the pencil line that worked for them the first time round and just to finish off it's just a case of using a little bit more black paint and just repainting the cut ends just to finish off the uh, bulwark mouldings. And that's just an image of the finished bulwark mouldings. Massively inaccurate. I'm going to put a picture of the real Victory Pop screen. And it didn't look nothing like this. But I've decided that I've just got to kind of follow how the kit is sometimes. It's, it's how the kit's made. I can't really, I mean, some things you can change and, and, and obviously mould, but some things you just got to build it to the kit. 
and this is one of them so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video in any case it's more of a video obviously how to try and form these melt these curves these curves on the moldings so anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time